plan right now how to increase the potential in many other different areas. What we're going to be doing today is slightly different. We won't be talking about Forex as much. Instead, we'll be, we're going to be focusing on a guy named David and his potential that he's provided for everybody. What kind of potential has he provided? Well, everyone, just to give you an idea, David has turned around and he's actually a law student at our university. And not only is he a law student, he's turned around and he has passively, last month alone, made $5,000 in passive income. He's making his money create even more money. So we're hoping that maybe he can give just a little tidbit of insight for you so you can start making your money create even more money on its own. And um, David, if you have a uh, moment, if you're ready, we can go ahead and introduce you. All right, everyone, this is David. And uh, introduce yourself, bro. This one? This one? Both, Both of them. <laughs> hey, guys, my name is David Trung. I am a law student at the University of Georgia. Um, last month, I made $5,000 last month with my passive income. So basically, I can go to sleep and that money still making me money. Um, as a law student, I got to law school for free. Um, so that's through scholarship and everything. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much my background. I've been doing stocks. I've been doing stocks, uh, Forex, a lot of different revenue to bring me income. Um, so I've been doing extremely well and I hopefully today I want to show you how you can implement my strategy and start today if you have the courage to start doing what I do because I want to help you reach that financial freedom success that you all been looking for. So um, no further, are you ready to start showing? Oh yeah. Hey, um, after this video, um, I started my own YouTube channel and it's creating right now. So if you guys want to follow me there, it's uh, Yellow Fever Live. I don't know where I got the name from. Um, so I'm starting that channel, me and some friends making a course right now, teaching you how to trade stocks and other investments. And that's coming out soon. So um, remember, uh, maybe B will put the link down to my Facebook and I'll keep you guys posted with that. Um, please you know, subscribe to my channel to see more tricks and um, strategies I'm giving out. So this whole webinar is going to be free. Uh, this whole webinar will be free. Yeah. Okay, so, so I'm showing right now. All right, one second. So let me get the uh, camera. Okay. You're going to have to see it from here. Excuse me. All right. Um, okay, Cody, can you hear some numbers? I would be delighted to, man. Absolutely. Um, All right, my friends and family, please take a nice look at this beautiful screen of another phone. <laughs> so now you can see phones so on the phone. Right, right, right on YouTube the name on the whiteboard. That's a nice one. No, you're fine. Okay. Yo, uh, uh, Yellow Fever Live. <laughs> right, your YouTube name on the whiteboard. If you do mind. Can I? Yes, that's right. Yes. Thank you, Captain Vale. That's a very nice thing to uh, ask, and we will be sure to do that. Go ahead and erase the the Venetian alphabet the crap I was doing up there. Right here? Yeah, just erase all that. Oh, real quick. This what are you doing when I was gone? <laughs> we want to ask you about your incredible voice now <laughs> and why it's seven o'clock. <laughs> there you go, that's better. Is this well, too dark? Is this too dark? That no. Uh, we'll we'll get it in just a second. Well, I hate to see you leave uh K3 Sun Wation. Um but do Think about coming back if you have to. We understand you have to work, and life does go on. But we will have a recording of this, so if you just won't be able to get the actual unfortunate portion of the live segment, so you can't ask questions. But that's all right. Yes, this is the YouTube channel of Mr. Dave. Follow me and Dave Trump on my um, Facebook. I will create a um, separate Facebook page just for stock trading and other investments. Also, with me and my friends are creating a course right now, so stay tuned for that. Uh, first, I think the first 20 people who sign up is going to get a free video of teaching them, so the free access to the course. After that, I do, I'm sorry, but I have to charge some people because um, the skin, like high demand for it. A lot of people are asking for it, so that's coming out soon. But you can um, get subscriptions through these two links, and I'll keep you posted up to date every day of my success evidence proof showing that I made that kind of money. So yeah, these two links, uh, my YouTube channel, my Facebook right here. Fantastic, awesome, thank you, David. And welcome, Mr. Nehemiah, we missed you last night. Thanks for coming in, buddy. All right, Nehemiah. Yeah, Nehemiah. <laughs> we helped him, didn't we? 
Yeah, we should. We we're, had a good time. We're actually going to close this Facebook right here. And he has Facebook Live on his cell phone right there. So. All right. We got Facebook Live on the hand. And we got other folks coming in from the chat. Let's see what we got going on. Um, I know, right? Let me see. Uh, actually, let me see. Let me see if I can do Zoom right quick. Uh, How long do you have on Zoom so far? So our audience out there, uh, yeah, shout out where you guys from. Where's everyone from? Hey, Nehemiah, what's up to you too, bro? Bill Allah. I mean, I guess we're not watching. So far, it looks like we have uh, six people watching at one. Okay. On Instagram Live. We got one on Facebook right there. Very nice, gentlemen. Cody wants it out to me. It's not hard for me to hold the camera in. Can you do like a FaceTime thing? Maybe. Yeah. Um, Brandon is All right. that what you would like me to do. Sacramento, very cool. Yeah, Sacramento. Sacramento. Awesome. Welcome Sacramento. I just want to help you myself. Very cool. I was not going to California. Are you from some Not from California. All right. <laughs> yeah. I was yeah, right. please make sure the mic is muted. Oh yeah, Florida. Nice and loud. Right, awesome. Cool. So well, welcome sure. over here, guys. We are in Georgia right now and we Love the fact that you were here with us today. Anyone else taking trading stocks with me? Have any of y'all trained st trade stocks right. before on your own? Yeah. So guys, we have another dynamic to this equation. We have Zoom right here, so we have some people in Zoom. So make sure you're speaking to people as well. Um, Can I put that over here? Matter of fact, they can just hear you. Actually, they're just, they're just watching your stream, so you're watching whatever your cell phone is. I'm so sorry for people on Zoom. Um, it's going to be tough for you all. You'll do better next time, I promise you. But um, you at least you you all will at least be able to see uh, you all will be able to see actually David's uh, cell phone. So that's the perk you're gonna have, right? So you may not hear us the best. Make sure you speak loud, David. Okay. Um, but you all get to see great quality of his cell phone. Nice. Yeah. Well, no, because you're connected okay. right here. So you want me to move over here? Yeah, please. All right, and I hate to hear that. Um, Chris Beat said that he is actually not trading. Not trading. No. Can I see any message on here? So on, on Zoom, can I see any message? Let me see. No, because the only problem is this takes point. Actually, let me see if I can minimize this. Actually. Okay. Um, also, Chris say that Nisa Nitz say that she has never traded before and she has no idea what to do. Awesome. Great. Really? Right. This is wow. exactly what this is for right here. So you can get a basic idea of what to do, how to make a little bit of cash, and have some fun. Anyone out there has been uh, investing lately? Anything besides stock, forex, uh, real estate, any, anybody? All right, cool. So actually, so this is your Zoom people right here. So okay. uh, there is Joel Thomas in here, Tyree, uh, Nick Dennis, he's in here. Your chat room is going to be. I can't see the message. That's a good question. Um. So uh, you Facebook Live went down. Why did it go down? Okay, uh, you want me to start introducing? Uh, we, um, we don't waste these people's time as well. Okay, so, we have nine uh, people here already. Okay, um, so how many people is, uh, have a brokerage account with uh, socks? Anybody? Do any of y'all have a brokerage account? Yeah. And um, so Dream Team St. Lucia said that he does internet marketing. Okay. So that's a form of, uh, that's a form of investing. investing. Okay, that's good, that's good. Fantastic. How long have you been doing internet uh, marketing? I'm sorry, you mean uh, social media marketing? Affiliate marketing, even better. I love that. That's okay. fantastic. Okay. Um, I'm assuming you're probably working with Amazon and maybe Walmart. And um, oh man, there are a lot of good programs hey, out there. Doing started, the um, no, a lot of great hey, programs uh, out there doing affiliate marketing. Uh, it's great stuff for right people to you a lot of their accounts. Mm -hmm. What's going on, Joel Thomas? How you doing, brother? Mr. Joel Thomas, how you doing? So before we get started today, um, B's going to do an introduction to um, this whole thing. So my sponsor has to do something right now. All right, let me make sure the chat comes up. Okay, cool. So here's the group chat, everyone, in Zoom. So uh, I just sent the message in group chat. Send a question there if you all have a uh, any questions. I think Joel recognized you now, a famous celebrity. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Joel. Give us a, a peace sign, brother. Give us a peace Okay, cool. So, I mean, it's like, it's All right, cool. So uh, I'm not sure what's happening now because I'm introducing myself. I am Brandon Hill. I am the founder of Young Pip. I am the founder of Young Pip Nation. Okay. 
So um, I teach people how to trade Forex. Um, I started Forex with $1,000. That's what I personally started off with. You can start with low as $10, okay? Do not case, do not case your case off my case. Um, ever since then, I've been able to make $1,000 per month side income on top of my normal job. I'm normally, I, my primary job is in IT, and I make additional income with Forex, okay? Um, we brought David on today because I know people teach people forex, but I'm actually branching out into stocks as well. And that's why we got Navy today. And I'm the main agent. You want to be in there? That's fine. We need someone to hold the camera. <laughs> 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 no love. <look. laughs> you know why? It's called the hair. No love. <laughs> but this one be the day today. He's actually making passive income. So pretty much every day he sleeps. Every month she's making money with dividends, which you're gonna learn soon, possibly. And he's making all kinds of money with stocks. So that's why we're bringing. Uh, David on today, in future episodes, we're going to be talking more about Forex. Okay, so we have 40 minutes, so we've got to get this going. You yeah, the Robert account says account. hello, by yeah, the way. Yeah, Robert, Robert account is on your cell phone. So. Okay. Hey, guys. Um, so basically, my brokerage I use is called Robinhood because um, they don't they don't charge commission or anything. And I'll show you my account right now. So make work on the lighting. Work on the lighting? Yeah, try to make sure it's not. So we sign into Robinhood. Uh, you don't have to so worry about uh, your perfect, account perfect. and everything. So it's going to be for free. Um, you can sign through B's link so you can get a you know, free stocks and stuff like that. And B's going to put that link down below this video. But basically, here's, I put in $1,000. So, so far, um, so, so far I got $2,556.70 right now. And you see, most of the time, my stock's gone positive. And then we went below that line. You see that? That's good, guys. That's what we want to see. Matter of fact, if you can, you actually scroll back up, keep that right there. I'm going to repeat that one time because a couple of people are having a little bit of difficulty hearing you. So this was an initial investment of a thousand dollars. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. So this is an initial investment of a thousand. What is the minimum you're allowed to invest in? You can invest in as much as you want. Ten right, dollars. So ten dollars. Let's just say ten dollars is a minimum that you can use. Now, the higher risk you put out there, the higher reward that you have. So Captain Vale asked, does this require $2,000? Does Robinhood require it? And no, says, no, no you don't. You don't. Robinhood does not require it. There's some feedback from the mic also. All right. Because we've probably got three mics going on. All right, so what we have here is after the initial is that after the initial $1,000, we've seen that it's grown 1,500. Is that correct, David? Yes. It hasn't. You haven't reached 2,500. Uh, yeah, this is fifteen hundred growth. Yes. So right, as actually. today, I have two thousand five hundred fifty-six dollars. If I sell today, guys, I made one thousand dollars in the last couple of months. Okay. So before that, I was using TD Ameritrade, and that's a good stock. I mean, I mean that's a good book if you want to do your uh, research and everything. But this one is a little bit better. I like it better for simplicity, and I like to be charged commission. Commission fees will kill your profit, guys. Hey, yeah, I understand that fees and taxes, capital gains taxes, those two will kill your profits. You want to avoid those things like the plague, right? So this is what I'm doing. And one of the strategy I'm teaching you today is going to work immediately after you implement these, after you get started on your brokerage. And it takes two minutes, as B, it takes two minutes to start your brokerage account. It's really easy. You sign up, um, and then you fund your account. It takes a couple of days, and then, you, and then you're ready to get started. Okay. To build your future. We have a nice question by Nisa Nitz. She okay. goes, do stocks fall in price? Yes, yes, stocks. It depends on what stock you're looking for. And I will show you which stock I'm thinking uh, to start with your pro. Um, in price. And so you should recognize that both can happen. Now what David is going to attempt to do here is how he's going to show you some of the stocks that he invests in and the advantage that you can have by investing in profitable stocks. Okay, so before we get started out there guys, um, what stocks are you guys looking at right now? What stock 
do you think is a good buy? What do you think is a good buy? And I'll tell you why I think that's a bad buy. Or possibly a good one. Anybody out there? We got people up there. Uh, uh, you're, you're on Facebook. You're not on um, Instagram. Hey, bro. Ask them how do you know what to invest in. All right, so we're going on that right now. All right, so guys, what sort of stocks do you think would be a good stock to invest in? Can you give me an idea? Like, say, Jim Bob, retail, retail um, utility, oil, what, what sector are you looking at? Are you looking at index funds? Sure, yeah. yeah, mutual funds. Captain Vale says, I like Smuckers long term. You like Smuckers long term? I mean, I like Smuckers because I'll tell you what. <laughs> they like Smuckers, it's got to be good. All right, so what do you think about Smuckers? Okay, what's the tick? Do you remember? The tick? I have no idea. Depends on your risk tolerance. That's what Nehemiah says. It depends on your risk tolerance. So we're going to look up Smuckers. Did you disconnect with your, uh, did you disconnect? I didn't touch anything. No, I was talking to David. Mm-hmm. Did you disconnect? No. Why? I'm not sure. Oh, okay. Sorry. Okay, Lockheed Martin. What about that? Lockheed Martin, that's a good one. I have that on my watch list. And Smuckers, I have that on my watch list. Okay, let's go with Smuckers first. I like this stock because not only it pays dividends, but if you compare it to the S&P 500, Smuckers has outperformed um, the S&P 500 consistently. And that's this is a stock that I would I would consider investing, but I would not I would not tell an average person to invest because the price is a little higher right now. So you want to look at the price the the low five, so low fifty, but it depends how much money you put into our Okay, so basically to summarize what uh, Dave just said there, if you'd like to invest in something initially that's below fifty dollars. On the flip side, Smuckers or, or Snucker, uh, Smuckers is a, a good one in the sense that it has seen profit. It is a very profitable one. Well, the last five years you can see it is up seventy nine percent right here. Would I buy right now? That's the question. Um, no, I would not buy right now because it's still a little high. Appfolio has been decent to me. Okay, so Aaron Dean 20 says Appfolio has been decent to me. Are you familiar with Appfolio? Appfolio. A P P Folio, like F O L I O. Yeah, So the question was, there's a lot of Okay, cool. That's not good. But I'm thinking of selling it soon. What's the reason that you're thinking of selling it, Aaron? Please explain. If you have a reason of debating on selling the item, please let us know. Now, um, are we talking about buying stocks in a company? And uh, that's one question by Lisa Nitz. Are we talking about buying stocks in a company? What do you say, Dave? Are we talking about buying stocks in a company? Yes. Yes, we buy shares of our company. Guys, guys, um, individual stocks is all about buying part of a company. It's a share of a company. It's like, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. It's just a share of a big company. It depends how much shares the company's going to give out. But you, you essentially you buy a share. And if the company's doing well, you profit from it. And if the company's not doing well, well, you don't profit from it. So um, Captain Bale said she likes the idea of smuggers because it has reinvesting or reinvesting dividends. Reinvesting dividends. That's, that's another thing, guys. Robin Hood brokers. That is not reinvesting your dividends, guys. Like that's that's on the down part, but that's what you pay for for not paying commission. Okay, but you can do that yourself when you, you know once the dividends come back to you, you have enough money again. You can put that to your the stocks. Right. You can reinvest that money in the stocks. Yes, right. yes, right. but it does not do that automatically. That's on the down part too. It's a good thing. All right, because for Facebook Live, so do only invest or buy stocks that is cheap. Huh? No. Well, well. <laughs> huh, that's that's one thing. One thing you do not want to always look at a stock that, that buys cheap. You have to compare it to something. What's your baseline? You have to compare it to something, right? Like if you buy a new laptop, you want to compare it to your lap, old laptop. See if it's better. Well, you want you want to compare that stock with the S and P 500 because that's the baseline for every other stock. There is that. And if you compare, and if that stock that you're picking. Marks the check marks, which means the check mark is going to be low price. It has to mark that second check mark has paying dividend. Andrew, yes. why is that important? Why is dividend important? 
It's important because if the stock goes up or down, sideways, left to right, I don't care. But you still get paid every month in quarterly. All right. So first off, yes, Aaron, we are working, and thank you, Tyree. Now we do have another question. Um, uh, Aaron D. First off, stated that he feels that that particular stock he was mentioning was uh, slowing its growth down in the last few weeks, and so he's thinking about selling for that reason. Captain Vale. She says that the CompuShare, the program CompuShare, handles it. The situation about smuggers you were talking about earlier, and about the reinvesting dividends, and that's why she likes CompuShare. She goes, CompuShare handles it, and I like them. Now, um, Aaron Dean Twenty says it's app, by the way, APPF, and Nisa Nip says, as I'm in London, would I buy stocks in UK-based companies? Okay, you know what? Let's, let's, let's ask that question. If you go to London, what, what's the question again? All right, so Nisa Nips is an individual who is in London, and she's saying, Shout out to London, by the way. Yeah, awesome. And she goes, but I buy stocks in the UK-based companies. Um, it depends if the stock is performing well. Um, I personally oh, sorry. I personally have not. Uh, I, I mean, I have stocks in China and foreign uh, estate as well, because that stock is growing up because Chinese economy is growing great. Um, it depends on the stocks. Compared to the S&P 500, and if, that's, if your stock in London is doing great consistently, and it should pay you dividends, and you have enough, and if that low point, buy it, buy it, buy it, buy it. I'm going to show you one of the stocks I've been looking at. So basically, guys, if somebody's paying you dividends, it's it's awesome. Awesome. Right, so unfortunately, so my, I'm not sure why my overall stock is no, I don't like it though. Sorry. But okay, so one of the stocks I'm looking at right now, guys, is Kroger. I bought 23 shares of this, and you can see so far I made 37 dollars. I bought it at 22.51. Um, yeah. Today's return alone was a dollar and eighty-four, and he's not doing anything to this. And my dividends 1.3. Yeah, that's okay for a start. And yeah, that's pretty much. Okay. So what we need to do is first some uh, your strategy, mm -hmm. and then we'll, we'll leave the last couple of minutes for questions. Okay. So we only have so many minutes with Zoom. Really? Yes. Can I see? Yeah. They can. They should. They be part better over there. Um, <laughs> but go ahead and show them the strategy, how to find stocks, and how to evaluate so they can get started, and then we can leave questions after that. Okay. Hey guys. All right. So how I find a stock is pretty it's pretty simple. I I look at. Trends, 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 that's what they always tell you, right? So here's one strategy that I'm going to teach you to buy stock, okay? Once, buy at the rally, sell at the dip. Yeah, buy at the rally, sell at the dip. Wait, wait, wait. Sell at the rally, I mean, sell at the rally, buy at the dip. Sorry about that. That's, yeah, so basically when the stocks start dipping, you start buying, buying, buying. Why? Because it's dollar cost averaging, which means that you don't want to put all of your money into $24.26. If you can spread out your money, actually the final cost of that stock will be less than the initial one. And that's what you want, that's dollar cost averaging right there. And, um, and then once it rallies up, guys, sell it half. And then once it rallies up before that, sell it. Half again. It has to rally up after the initial buy. It has to be rally means it's going up, guys. Rally means it's going up. Dip means it's going down. That's basically what it means. It's simple. Can you uh, point that out for them? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we got, we got to say something we've never traded in our life. Okay. Can't assume any knowledge. So right here, I'm looking at uh, let's see, Kroger stock right here. I like it. I like the stocks, and here it is. Just keep trending up right here, and you see where. This part, guys, I will not buy. I will not buy. I will not buy until I see this tipping point right here. I buy right here 32. I buy by 32 at two shares, right? And then again, it, it has to go below 32 again until I buy. So 29, I start buying one share. 28, I start buying one. 24, I start buying a couple more shares. But once it starts going past my initial 32 right here, that's just profit, guys. That's profit. And then you want to sell, 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 sell. And then you just make your money. Not only that, you make money off the dividends as well. Can you explain what dividends are? Dividends are come stocks that actually pays you for buying those stocks. Some stocks are not pay dividends, so you gotta be careful though. And there's many stocks and there's every kind of stocks imaginable, but dividends are stocks that 
stock that you buy that they will pay you. Right here, you can see, you scroll down on Robinhood, and then this is right here, a 1.3 yield, and that, that will pay you um, depending on the price of the market right there and how many shares you have at the time. So, yeah. I have stocks that pay me monthly, I have stocks that pay me quarterly. It does not matter because every day I wake up, one stock is going to pay me. Right? And that's how you, and that's one strategy that you should implement as soon as possible. Any questions? Yes, we do. Is that all you wanted to tell them? No, no, no. I can continue. Yes, to you well, sir. Yeah, keep telling the strategy because we're running out of time. On the uh, on Zoom? Really? Yes. On I'm Zoom, fast. we're running out of time. So, so we'll start. Yeah, so I talk about the strategy and we'll talk about questions. I just did. Okay, so, uh, so the strategy is uh, buy at the dips, sell at the rallies, right? Yes, buy at the dips, sell at the rallies. So if you're looking at a company, what you're saying is you're saying yeah. now is actually a good time to go buy. When this when this actually this Kroger uh, stock is going down. Is that what you're saying here? Kroger stocks right now is not going down, so now I will not buy. But for some it was a good buy back in uh, twenty two. 2251 right here was a good buy, but right now it's rising up, it's about leaning up, and right now it's not a good buy. One stock that you would like to consider buying. Yeah, tell, me, tell me the stock right now that you like to buy. So, right here, this stock right here is called Emerge and Aim. It's a, it's a stock right now that is trending downward. You can put some money in this stock right here, and you see how it goes up and down. Up. I like this stock. I like this trend because you know it will definitely go up again past the top. Has it done it before in the past? It's consistently done it before in the past. Right now, it's at the low point right now, 49.34. We have some money right now. Put buy a couple shares. Buy a couple shares. I will not buy. I, I will not put five hundred dollars. Five hundred dollars down this share again. Just put a couple shares. As it goes down, put a couple shares as it goes buy, buy a couple shares as it goes down. And then when it rises up past the initial, the first initial, past that, profit baby. That's profit baby. Right? But when to when to sell, when to sell, that's always the question. Um, best time to sell is after one year. Why? Because capital gains, guys, capital gains tax will eat into your profit. Every time you sell, you Every time you make a profit, that's called capital gains. Uncle Sam wants that money. He will tax you if you sell it within one year. Do not sell it within one year. Buy it, wait it out next year, put a buy limit on there, and then, and then once it hits the buy limit, I mean sell limit, once it hits the sell limit, they sell off everything. Yeah, and then so, so, you know, you gotta use so, so on here, on yeah, it's some of it is the Peter Griffin you saw right above. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we got a question from Zoom. All right, wait, 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 wait. So, okay, yeah. so, um, so when you own Robinhood, you have like a buy, sell, a sell mod, because I have two. Let's, let's go with this one. All right, this, this is what you see. You press on buy, and then it says this is market buy. Okay, I will never, I will never tell anyone to do a market buy because Robinhood has a lag with, and then on Google the price is different from Robinhood is different. I would, I would advise you to go to order, order type, top right, press order type, put some limit right here. Oh, that's not boss. Limit, and then put your limit down. Like, you now if it hits this point, you would definitely buy, and you do the same thing on sell. Put a sell limit, hit this price, you'll definitely buy. You want to do that, guys, because you want to put the price in, forget about it, and move on with your day. You don't want to keep looking at the stocks. The more time you keep looking at the stock, the more motion you tied into the stock. And you, and motion has to be outside the door. When doing this, you have to leave your motion outside the door. Discipline, guys. Discipline. That's the key thing right here. And that will make you money. That's what we always do. And that's it. Or the limit for the buy market is like you buy at the market right now. Again, there's a lag. If you buy right now on Google, it's a different price, and then you pay for that different price. Maybe higher, maybe lower, I don't know. But most of the time, I will avoid market. Stop loss is you put a stop loss saying, like, um, if it goes past this, um, you will stop. You put a stop loss. I normally don't do this, I normally don't do stop loss or stop limits. It's kind of complicated. They both, both mean the same thing essentially. But it's it's more just focus on buy limit and buy sell um buy limit and sell limit. 
Okay, what's the question? All right, so we have a question on Zoom. Let's get this one first. Let's see how it out. Okay, right here. Uh, it says, what do you suggest for someone who started off with a little more account? For example, I can only put a $50 in at the moment. Should I wait until I have a bit more money to the account? Or can I buy when stocks hit the dip? Is there something I can invest in now with $50 at the moment? Yeah, well, that, it, one, that one stock you mentioned earlier was $49. $49 right there. That's so that $49 stock. That's your first stock right there. And it's a good you, buy. You're going to see it's going to go up in a while. And it, it pays dividends, right? It pays dividends. So it does not matter if it goes up or down. We still get that monthly, stock was up? Get that monthly check. Right. Um, yeah, on, on drink and pain. Hundred and pain, in case you can't hear us all the way on the computer. Yeah. Hundred and pain. That stock is right now is forty nine dollars, so you can invest in that stock. Okay. Other questions? Yes. Well, are there any other questions on Zoom? No, that's not a question. Okay. You want to start doing Facebook Live? Ones? No questions. Okay. So let's see. Um, I'm scrolling back up so I can hit it uh, real quick. Now. That answer, me answer the question, do you do this manually or with puts? Um, well, it's a bit like the housing market. One discipline strategy. Off topic question. Do you guys trade cryptocurrency? Cryptocurrency? You talking about buy Bitcoin? You talking about Bitcoin? That's a good, that's a good one. My mentor was talking about that the other day. Should I invest in Bitcoin? Well, I say, well, before we get to that category, should I invest in to Bitcoin? You have to understand that what is currency at the moment? It's putting your trust in a piece of paper, okay? Putting trust in a piece of paper. Um, in my opinion, Bitcoin is similar to like Iraqi, um, Iraqi currency. I have a friend um, who did special ops. He brought me back Iraqi currency uh, after Saddam's fell down. Um, so that money was worthless, okay? Bitcoin is the same way because you put in that trust. You can buy $100 in Bitcoins hoping that the trust behind that currency keeps going because once it's once it stop, you're gonna lose all that money. I would not advise anyone to invest in Bitcoin because of that. Because it's going to trust and currency. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Uh, also and that was uh for Junior Maya. Now Captain Vale had a couple questions. Um actually three questions. She goes, capital gain only one year, how to track all of this? That's two questions. Capital gains? Only one year? How to track all this? How to track capital gains? Yes. Um, well, guys, you have to identify yourself. What kind of trader are you? Are you a day trader, screen trader, and the buy and hold kind of guy? Yeah, what kind of trader are you? I'm a buy and hold kind of guy. Because investment is a long-term game. It's a long-term game. You play investment is a long-term game, not a short-term game. Okay? I don't like gambling. Okay? The way I teach you is not gambling. You guarantee to make this money. Okay? If you don't like it, you can gamble your money. And you can lose it or you can gain a lot. That's on you. But don't blame on me. My strategy is to teach you to make money each and every time. Okay? Capital gains, how, how do you track it? You only track capital gains if you sell it within the year. If you sell within the year, uh, Robin Hood will send you a tax uh, document, what you sell, what you what you gain from that, and you print that out, they email it to you, you print that out and give it to your CPA and all that stuff. But you can't avoid all that stuff. Just wait for wait one year and then sell. Okay. So wait a year and one then sell if you wish to actually invest versus do gamble. Mm -hmm. Um now Captain Bale also had the most recent question with stating what do you think of quote unquote stash at, at five dollars at a time? Stash app. Oh, okay. So we're doing Robo now. We're talking about Robo. Okay. A lot of people talk to me about that. So I invest in um, West, uh, was it Wealthfront, Betterment, uh, Acorn, Stash, all those are Robo, okay? Um, let me tell you this Stash uh, will invest in, I think it was ETFs. ETF, they invest in ETFs. You know, you got your ETFs, you got your index funds and you got your uh, mutual fund. I'm telling you what essentially is all those things mean. It just means a basket for stock. If you can pick your basket individually, it's like picking all your winners, like an MFL team, picking all the all-stars, like a basket for stocks, you have a way better chance that those stocks individually beats the market. You have a basket for that that beats the market, that's better than any robo investing. Those robots, 
will do it automatically, but they will never care about your money as much as you care about your money. So you got to annotate each one of your stock. Don't be lazy, guys, and this will help you with investing. It'll get easier from now on. Hate it. Fine. Yeah. Stash. Hate it. <laughs> no. Opinion states. No, that's what we should say. Opinion wise, we have no. All right. Do we have any other questions? So we have a couple new people who have joined. Um, are there any other questions you'd like to ask? Kroger price cuts. Hammer milk companies. Help. All right. We're dropping down to four to five watchers. Visitors. All right. Is everybody getting this? Dropping up. Going up. We had nine to ten. All right. So the question is, is everybody getting this? All right, to well, Andrew, any questions? Are you getting this? If he was able to, when it's called in, are you able to start trading now? Can I get a yes? Can someone give me a yes if you start trading now with the knowledge that you didn't know? If you don't, if you can't start trading now, please ask questions. Yeah. Also, if you have any other questions for me, just tell me. I'll give you, give you a couple more tips. This, was, yeah, this is my test run. We have 10 more minutes. All right, guys. Also, make sure you recognize that Robinhood is a free app. Is that correct? Yes, it's a free app. All right, so guys, this is a free app. You can actually start trading now. If you're using some of these techniques that uh, David is talking about by buying on the dip and selling on the what's it called price, the rally. Um, by buying on the dip and selling on the rally, you can actually make money. And don't do this within a week, month long period. Take your time. The summary of this whole situation is find stocks. That were shares that pay in dividends and sell on the rally. Wait a year so you don't have to pay the capital gain tax. Yes. And you're going to be smooth sailing, guys. And um, you, you should watch your account slowly grow. It's not going to be a get rich scheme that happens overnight where you make $50,000 in one evening. Unless you do Forex. Mm. Wait, but that's a different story. We talk about another day. But that's not the topic for today. <laughs> um, on the contrary, though, as you can see, we do have a little bit of information that we're providing for you, and we'd like for everyone here to start making more money. Why? If you make more money, we make more money. Okay. All right. So um, I think that's, that's about it. You want to give some more feedback? You want me to give some more strategy? I mean, unless people have more questions. I mean, All right. How about this? What's some good, Nehemiah asks, our yeah. old buddy, old pal from last night, what's some good literature to read and help me learn more about stocks, penny stocks, and etc.? Um, I will advise any, anything. The more you learn, anything. Just any stock books that you can find. First time buy for free, then find locally, and then you have to, have to, have to, then buy some. But buy for a discount, guys. Right? I gotta, I gotta come on this stuff. Okay. All right. Um, also, Captain Bale, you will be talking more about Forex in the upcoming future. Right. Our man, Brandon, right here, is our expert in Forex. Okay. But what we're gonna talk about real quick, um, guys, I want you to recognize that there's an unlimited supply of knowledge out here. We are living in a golden age of knowledge. And what do I mean by that? Number one, there's this thing, awesome thing called the internet, which, by the way, I'm assuming you're familiar with. Because you are online right now. You can actually start looking up and doing your own basic research now that you've got some basic ideas of what's going on, how you can buy stocks, what are good stocks, what stocks actually have or pay you dividends. You can start doing this research now. Also, on top of that, which is even more important, if you start looking at investing or buying in books, don't. Why do I say that? I say that in a couple ways. We need another thing. We need to start adding people to the Facebook. Now, hold on before we get to that, I'll finish this comment. What you definitely need to look at is most cities and towns have their own library. Did you hear that? A library where people buy books and let you rent them for free. Why would you pay your money, your hard-earned money for this? I'm not saying you shouldn't waste your money because I don't. I love books. I have a whole large bookshelf in my apartment because I'm a scholar and I love books. But at the same time, there's not really an excuse not to find it. The more literature you read, it doesn't matter if it's good or bad. If you can learn one good thing from it, you've learned something important. And that's really where you should start. Start. It's just picking up a book about stocks. You start reading it. Um, we've provided some information with David, and um, Brandon's going to do some more with 4X. And is there, you wanted to mention your Facebook, correct? Right? right. So, so let's get started. Um, we're going to have a whole uh, group chat. So if you want to join our community for learning more about stocks, uh, send me a direct message uh, right now. I think the easiest way would be from Instagram. 
So send me a message on Instagram to say that you want to join our uh, free chat group. Um, you can go to my website too, but um, let's not look at what the website is. The website, the website is www.youngcupnation.com. P I P. <laughs> so let's not get that confused, but you go there, send me a message, um, learn a little bit more for it, or you can send me a message if you want to join the free uh, Facebook group, okay? Uh, David's going to be monitoring the group. So uh, any questions about stocks, join the group. We're on there 24-7, we're live, we're in front community. Come holla at me. All right, that's it. All right, you got anything else, guys? Ladies, gentlemen, and everything in between. Do you all have any questions, questions. Uh, comments, or small jokes? Right now. And we'll help you with your financial situation as well, too. All right, if anything cuts, Facebook is going to cut, Zoom is going to cut, IG Live is going to keep going. So ask your questions away. All right. Name that tune. What was that? Name that tune. So what? Name, Name the tune. tune. This was what said. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. Um, well, I'm sorry for the uh, the abuse that I provided for you. Now, on the uh, so guys, yeah, definitely check out libraries. If you feel the necessary that you need to buy a particular book, don't don't hesitate. My point is, you can always print a book for. Borrow a book from a library for practically free, and at that point, you can go ahead and have that in your hand if you want, and actually scan it. Scan the most important pages. Write out what you find as being successful, or what you find you want to try, and go for strategies that are going to be guarantees. There are not many guarantees in life, but if you can find a guarantee like what we're providing here today, then you can start being more successful. You can start seeing an income grow on your own. And with why, your own money. Well, why is that strategy a guarantee, David? Why is that strategy a guarantee? Yes. It's a guarantee because I make money off of it personally. I will show you evidence that I will make money off of it. It's a guarantee because all look, 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 look guys, was was yesterday one of my friend um, show show me a strategy and I was telling him why my strategy is better because it makes me money consistently. Here, come over here. So I will show you how. Why is it guaranteed right now? Let's just say, guys. Let's just say, guys, you bought this at sixty-five dollars right here, okay? You bought it at sixty-five dollars for about um, seven shares. That's about four hundred and fifty-five dollars, right? You keep buying. If you have some money, keep buying it as it goes down. As it goes down, you buy the dip. This is the dip we're talking about, guys. It's the dip. Okay? So keep buying it as it goes down. And then once it gets past the 65 mark, you sell that thing and everything up is profit. It's a guarantee because the market always rebounds. Okay? The stocks that I show you today is a blue chip stock. These stocks are not like any stocks. Okay? Blue chip stocks. Blue chip stocks are stocks that have been a while, that's been out there on the market for a long, long time. People trust these stocks. Okay? A lot of people, like, huh? Exactly. Example would be Apple. Apple is a blue chip stock. Google is a blue chip stock. Coca Cola is a blue chip stock. It's a brand that you can trust. If you see the dip, the long dip, if you see that, okay, if you see that, it's a good buy. It's a good buy. Buy, buy, buy. Look at the 52 weeks. There's a 52 weeks on your um, barometer. Look at the 52 weeks. What's the lowest it's been in 52 weeks? Uh, what is that? Sixty-one. It has to get close to this number. That's how. That's how you know it's a good buy. It has to get close to this number. Once it get close to this number, don't put all your money in it. Put a little bit in it. Four, three, two. I don't care. Put a little bit in it. As it gets lower, you keep buying. If it doesn't get lower, that's great. You're making profit anyways. But as it gets lower, you buy, 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 and then once it hits past sixty-one, you sell everything within one year. One year. Sure. If it climbs past 65 before one year, still sell? Climb past 65? Yeah, before one year. Past, uh, if, it, if, it, if it goes past uh, 68. Say uh, 65. Yeah, 65 is the way you buy it. Right? 65. Anything past 65 is good. No, good good question. Question. hold on though. Why is 65 a good buy? That's one thing that you have to mention. If the high is. Right. Yeah, 65. You got in at 65. All right, so you made the conscious decision to go ahead and get in at 65. Okay, that's 
Because well, you why 65? Because it's close to 61. Because the 50, last 52 weeks, it's at the lowest point of 61. And this number has to get close to this number. Sometimes you'll never get close to that number. But as long as some, as long as it's a few points away from this number, you buy it. You also need to recognize what the average is. If the average is $66 and you're buying it at 65, that's a good sign. All right, you're starting to, and you're seeing it's declining or, or dipping. You're, you still have a question though. Before, I mean, if it goes after 65, do you sell it just before one year? Before yeah, one, no. Let's no, say you do not. You do not. You do not do it. You do not do it. You buy it out. Okay, you what is 84? It's 84. You buy it out after before one year. Write it out. Why? Because guys, I do not want to pay Uncle Sam shit. You don't <laughs> owe him anything, right? You don't want to pay capital gains, okay? Fees and capital gains tax will kill your property, guys. Minimize that as much as possible. It will climb back up after a year. Trust me on that. If it goes down, it goes shoot up 84 before the one year. You do not, you do not buy. If it goes down past 65, sell. Uh, sell. yeah, yeah, you do not sell. Yeah. So my friends did uh, swing trading and right. they did um, day trading swing has ended. and when they compared their stocks with my stocks, I have beat them on average $500 more. I made $500 more on what I did, my technique, than day trading and swing trading and I'll save you 50% of your time so you can spend that time with friends, families, business, doing whatever. This works. All the time. Mm, he said all the time. Okay. It works all the time. Come, do this method with any other method. This this method will make you money consistently. Right? So I have one more method I want to show you. Cody show well, show them one method that you came up with. Oh, you oh, gotta show that another time. Right, we'll, we'll show that another time because I gotta I gotta talk to the forex group okay. now. Okay. So I'm sorry guys, we're about to end soon. Um, I have a forex meeting that uh if you're part of Young Pit Nation, I host a Sunday meeting every night at 9 p.m. with the squad. Um, but let's shoot these questions. We have two more minutes. Okay. <laughs> two more minutes, extra questions. Any questions? Come on, you got two minutes next. Money Man David, college student, law student, making five thousand dollars a month passing. Excellent question. Why he's here? I really want Facebook Live. No questions? Thank you, Relon. Thank you. We're trying to, you know, it's our first time doing this live. We're going to work better next time. But uh, they got to start somewhere. We got to start somewhere. This that's, that's, that's the, uh, the, the, the mindset. Okay, cool. so Facebook Live is down. I think we're done. Captain Bell says, thank you, David, with two exclamation marks. So, anytime. All right. See you next time. See you next time, guys. Yeah. Anything? Don't call me. Don't call me on that. When we have differing opinions, don't call me that. Because I know you're trying to diss me on that, and that's not. I'm no, not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm just showing them this different strategy. Compare my strategy to any other strategy. Like that. My money would win. Yeah. I know that's not. Cool. We're not. We're not trying to call. It's, it's like consistency. Okay. So yeah. So we. So you didn't finish that discussion. I know. Um. Did you? Are you done with IGY? Uh, we are still on. Uh, not right here. Cool. Let me see. Uh, uh, okay, cool.